everyone, welcome back to A Couple Books. This is Couple. Today, we are going to be doing my match TBR. And this month is going to be an intense month. Why, you may ask? Well, because last month, I didn't get my through my reading goal. Why? Because I was writing grad school papers, and it was horrendous. And... But either way, today, we are going to go through some five books that I want to aim to read this month. The reason it is not longer is because I am so behind on my TBR pile, and I apologize for that. I have promised so many books to read, and it has not come to fruition. So, I'm going to keep this list smaller this month, and in hopes that with the smaller list that I'm promising, I can hopefully read all these and get caught up. So, that's the goal for this month. That's the goal for March. Let's hit the ground running. So, the first book is going to be Peter Swanson's Rules for Perfect Murder. I discussed this in my book haul video, but basically this is about a man who wrote a blog post. He's a book own, bookshop owner. He wrote a blog post of eight murderers that were his favorite murderers from murder mystery novels. And now someone is going through that list and committing murders in the same fashion as they did in those books that he listed off. So, he's enlisted by the police force, I do believe, to help catch the murderer before he can do more of the stabby stab stab. So, super excited for this. Next one is An English Murder by Cyril Hare, Cyril Hare. I also talked about this in my book haul video. That's gonna be for most of these books here, just telling you guys now. And this one is a classic on the locked room mystery trope. Basically a whole bunch of characters getting locked in a location or room together, and then murder ensues. I love this trope, I love it so much, and I want to guess by Charlie Lupina is a per prime example of this trope, as well as, um, and then there were none by Agatha Christie, all prime examples. This one is a Christmas themed one, and I love Christmas, even though I don't celebrate Christmas, I love Christmas. So. I don't know why I'm speaking in this voice. Uh, we are going to be reading this. I'm already a few pages in. Super excited to continue it and read one of the classics of the Locked Room Mystery Trope. Next is going to be John Connolly's The Book of Lost Things. This is another amazing book that I talked about in my own haul video, or haul video. And in this book, we basically follow a boy who lost his mother and he kind of transports himself into the realms of his fantasy books that he loves to read and enjoy. And we don't know if it's real, we don't know if it's imaginary, we don't really know what's happening, we just know that he's trying to cope with the loss of his mother and his books are his safe space. And I think that we can all agree that our books are, are very much a safe space for a lot of us. So I'm super excited to pick this up, figure out what's going on. I'm really stoked for this. The next one is another book that I discussed in my haul video, and that is going to be Adrian Tchaikovsky's Tchaikovsky's um, The Tiger and the Wolf, as I discussed previously in my last, in my either tomorrow's video or yesterday's video, depending on how videos end up coming out. This book is about a girl, I do believe, who is the daughter of a chieftain from two separate tribes, the Wolf Tribe and the Tiger Tribe, and those two tribes are at war with each other, so it's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet situation, but this is after Romeo and Juliet had a child, and now this child, because of the powers in each tribe, is able to transform into animals from her parents' respective tribes, so she's able to transform into both a wolf and a tiger. This makes her an outcast, mostly because she is being able to transform into an animal that the her host tribe, the wolf tribe, is at enemy is enemies with, and so she becomes an outcast and runs away from home. I'm super excited to pick this book up. I'm super excited to learn more about this like whole like magic system. I'm really excited for the series overall. So that's going to be my fourth book, and then finally my fifth book is Richard Osman's The Thursday Murder Club. I've seen this book hyped up so much. I saw it. I picked it up. I'm really stoked to pick it up. Uh, this is another murder mystery, so this is going to be a heavy murder mystery month. And this one is a retirement community, I do believe, where these very youthful ladies who are on the older side of the um, spectrum of age, is how I think we should say it. I, my grandma might slap me, so I'm just going to try and be careful here in case she's listening. But anyways, this book falls for ladies at this nursing home, this retirement community, who are super obsessed with true crime, and then when murder strikes at their retirement community, they are on the case and you're going to solve it. I just love the idea of grandmas trying to solve murder cases, like I just think that's an amazing idea. I love the idea, it's got attached, a stat, a, whoa, oh, wow. That was painful. I don't know why it was. I just love, it's kind of like a dash of humor in it. I, I really just enjoyed the idea. I've got a lot of murder mysteries this month, so I don't mind 
spicing it up a little bit with a more humorous murder mystery, if this is indeed humorous. I've seen it get hyped up quite a bit, so I'm excited to join in on the hype potentially and pick this up. So I'll be sure to let you guys know. So those are my five books for this month. In addition to those five books, I will be attempting to get caught up on my previous promises, such as the Shorter Shannara series by Terry Brooks, planning on reading the first one, the Library of Mount Char by Scott Hawkins, continuing with the Trader's Blade series by Sebastian de Castell, the second book in the Burning series by Evan Winters, The Fires of Vengeance. And there's a few more I do believe, but those are the ones that are coming off the top of my head. There's a lot of books I need to get through. Promise you a lot of books. I want to deliver on those promises. So this month's going to be a fun month. I'm super excited to get into all these worlds and these stories and it's going to be super exciting. Oh, I also want to continue the Chaos Walking series. I absolutely love the first book. So there are a lot of things going on right now. These are just the five that I wanted to highlight as books I'm really going to try and put at the top of the TBR pile. So super excited to see what happens this month. Super excited to get back into reading now that I'm done with my grad school papers. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Trying to keep it short and sweet today. So. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys are have read these books or are hyped about these books or are curious about these books or hated these books, please let me know in the comments section down below. I am super excited to read your guys' thoughts and opinions on my TBR for this month. In addition to that, while you're down there, maybe, don't, uh, don't wanna tell you what to do, but I would be internally grateful if like there's like a button, so like a thumb, click that, and then right next to it, there's like a subscribe button. You could also click that. Just maybe. I don't want to like tell you what to do, but like just maybe. That's gonna be the end of today's video. So thank you guys so much. Do please like and subscribe if you guys feel like it. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. With that, I'm gonna wish you guys goodbye and I will see you guys in the next video.